Welcome back, Devils fans. It is your host, Ace, here on Running With The Devils, where we are talking New Jersey Devils hockey all year long. Please hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, share with a friend. Thank you very much. And it's been a slow August, but the news was flying in fast and furious today, and a little tweet came to my attention from a gentleman by the name of Noah Strang, and it reads, Not confirmed, but it seems like the Canucks, Quinn Hughes, along with brothers Jack and Luke from the NJ Devils, could be the cover athletes for EA's NHL 25. This official reveal trailer is unlisted but live on the game's YouTube channel right now. And apparently this was put up. It was not supposed to be public. Somehow this guy found it, and then it was private, and you could see it if you had the link, but then they made it completely private. It was unlisted, and then it went private. Either way, it was up there for a short time. It since is now not able to be viewed, but luckily to the advances in technology, in the internets, some of these people captured it, and it's looking like two things. One, amazing marketing for this New Jersey Devils club. The Hughes brothers are a marketing machine for the NHL. We saw with the Hughes Bowl, all the excitement that that kind of drummed up league-wide for the sport of hockey, and now it looks like the Hughes boys, the brothers Hughes, will don the cover of NHL 25, the trailer leaked. It seems like this has to be what, what it is. I mean, I don't see how this video even exists. This isn't one of those AI things that someone conjured up in their basement. It looks like it leaked, and they tried to cover the tracks and hide it. It looks absolutely incredible. The graphics in video games today are way more advanced and way different than when I was a kid. Um, I fell out of video games a little after college. I still like playing some of the older games here and there, but I don't have too, many, too much time for video games now as I try to be a productive adult. And um, it's hard to find time to play video games, but I know a lot of people still love it, and I wish I had time, and maybe I'll get back into it. But after seeing this, it kind of brought me back down memory lane. As you guys know, memory lane is a, a favorite place of mine to go strolling down especially when it comes to our beloved New Jersey Devils. And it got me thinking about the different covers that New Jersey Devils were featured on in video games in the past. And I start off with the first one, NHL 96. Wow, what a game this was. I was a Sega Genesis kid. That was like the first system that I really uh, owned. I mean, I played Super Nintendo and Nintendo at all my friends' houses and things as a kid. But Sega Genesis was the first one that I had, and me and my brother would play till our thumbs bled. Got the Genesis one fateful Christmas years and years ago, probably early 90s, I forget. Featuring Captain Scott Stevens and Steve Iserman. A nice little action shot there from the 1995 Stanley Cup Finals. Obviously, the Devils went on to sweep the heavily favored Red Wings, giving the Devils their first cup in franchise history. What a beautiful year. What a beautiful team. I love those boys. The 1995 New Jersey Devils will forever have a special place in my heart along with the rest of you old-time fans. But that was the first game that a Devil was featured on. Right there, NHL 96, Scott Stevens and Stevie Y on the cover. Absolutely love this game. Played it for hours and hours as a kid. Fond memories of that one. And then it took a little while for us to get on the cover of another game. It took quite a while for the Devils to get back on the video game cover scene. And in 2002, with NHL hits, once again, Captain Scott Stevens gracing the cover of NHL hits, which was basically the hockey version of their very popular NFL Blitz. It was a very popular game, and then they decided to make an NHL version. They called it NHL Hits. And I had this on the PlayStation 2, another game that was that was kind of my road. After after Genesis, I think my progression in video games was, I think, PlayStation, and then, you know, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, so on and so forth. But NHL hits, Scotty Stevens donning the cover, just looking like the absolute monster of a man that he was, absolute assassin, one of my favorite players from back in the day, along with, I'm sure, many of you guys, Scott Stevens, a beloved figure in New Jersey Devils history. But NHL hits, another great game. And listen, you could probably find these games used online if you have any of these old systems laying around. You could probably buy these games for a couple bucks. They're super cheap now. And then also the emulation. I don't know if any of you are tech savvy, but there's something called emulators where you could download programs and things and play games from all the old systems, either on your PC or handheld. Um, I might get into a video. I have a very 
good friend who is a tech savvy emulator kind of guy and i've been thinking about doing a video game a hockey video game specifically video with him so i might do that in the future but nhl hits 2002 scott stevens on the cover and then there was a drought we we did not see a new jersey devil on the cover of a video game for years and years until finally i believe this was through a fan voting contest if i'm not mistaken on nhl 14 the great martin broder with his beautiful glove up, that glove hand was oh so active. You could flash it in a jiff. Marty Brodeur on the cover of NHL 14. I had this one on the PlayStation 3. That's the cover I decided to use there, the PlayStation 3. But Marty Brodeur on the cover of NHL 14. Another great game in the EA Sports franchise. Love all those games. And, man, just brings me back to my childhood. But there we have it, the... Latest New Jersey Devils to appear on a video game cover. It's looking like NHL 25 will feature both of our Jack and Luke Hughes, along with their brother Quinn from the Canucks. And a lot of people, a lot of fans, a lot of people I know and friends have been saying for quite a while now that, oh, we have to get Quinn. And this is kind of on a side note. But I obviously would love to have Quinn Hughes here with Jack and Luke on the New Jersey Devils. I mean, what a story for the Devils. What a story for hockey and the league at large. I just don't see the feasibility with the amount of money that they all make or will continue to make in the future. I mean, if Luke signs a super team-friendly deal, um, you know, when he comes off of his entry level, I mean, maybe he signs a bridge and then he tries to get the monster deal. But either way, he is going to have to sign for below market value if there's any hope of his brother Quinn coming over here, um, you know, to play for the Devils. And at some point, that would require Quinn signing for below market value as well to fit all three of these guys. And with the cap going up, you never know. Obviously, other players would have to probably be traded out and so on and so forth to make all three Hughes brothers fit. But you're talking about three guys that are going to be making at a minimum, you know, eight, seven, and eight or nine million. So you're talking about like roughly 25 million plus between the three of them. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be easy, but I would absolutely love to see it. It's not too often that there's three brothers in the league simultaneously. We saw it with the Stahl brothers that were at a very high level. And now with the Hughes brothers, they really are hockey's royal family at the moment. I don't think – we may not never see three guys playing at that high of a level simultaneously ever again, to be honest. I mean, last year you saw Quinn won the Norris Trophy as um, Defenseman of the Year. Luke was nominated for Rookie of the Year, and had Jack not get, had not gotten hurt, you may have seen him in the Hart conversation. He was an early Hart candidate early on in the season. Obviously, means nothing, and then he got hurt, and it all fell apart with our whole season. But in the years going forward, I think Jack might finally kind of get in that Hart conversation if he could stay healthy and play at the level we think he can. Quinn Hughes and McCarr seem like they're going to be battling out for the Norris for the next decade plus. And who knows, maybe Luke will develop into a guy who gets his name in the Norris Trophy conversation as well. But to have three kids all in the league that are playing at all-star caliber levels, it's wild and unprecedented, and it's much deserved for these kids to be on the cover. Uh, but the graphics look insane. The game looks awesome. Let me know what you guys think about this. From a marketing standpoint, this is great for the New Jersey Devils. Honestly, it is. We don't get these types of things too often. And you know, it's starting to come our way now. Maybe our fortune is changing in terms of marketing and the league's kind of view of the Devils. We had the stadium series last year, obviously a very big marketing event for the league. You know, we now have the cover of NHL 25 with two of the Hughes brothers. And I've been hearing rumblings that we might be in the, the mix for a winter classic game in the next few years as well. Exciting time to be a Devils fan. Our young nucleus is amazing. Hopefully with some of these offseason moves we made and having a real goalie in Markstrom, that all comes together and we see that success on the ice this year. I'm obviously hoping for a big season. I've told you guys all that I think – you know, we're definitely making the playoffs, and I expect them to win a round at a minimum. I'd love to see us get to the conference finals or the cup finals. Time will tell, but exciting stuff. Great to see the Devils getting recognition. Great to see the Hughes brothers get recognition. And i um, curious to know if you guys – let me know if you're going to buy the game, what you think about the clips they showed, little behind-the-scenes stuff, all that stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments. Throw it out there, anything Devils hockey. I'll be back soon. Thank you for watching. I love you all. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. Until next time, friends. Let's go down.